agrobiodiversity is the backbone of our food security system because all of us, whether vegetarian, non-vegetarian, because animals are also included in agrobiodiversity. Therefore, we require plants and animals and fishes, something for the food for our own purpose. And agrobiodiversity, not only human food, but animal feed, and above all, the whole variety of products, for example, there is among agrobiodiversity, you can call cultural biodiversity, culinary, the, the, the tribal people may have their own kind of food. Culinary biodiversity, you may cook various products. Cultural purity biodiversity, medicinal plants, very important. Medicinal plants today, in fact, let food be the, the medicine. Hippocrates said it long, long ago, let food be your medicine. And so there are a number of uses of agrobiodiversity. And it is our duty to conserve them, use them wisely. Biodiversity is a larger term of agrobiodiversity. Agrobiodiversity is one segment of biodiversity, which we have discussed so far. There is also we have water biodiversity convention, international convention. We have a national biodiversity authority located in Chennai. The idea is to conserve our biodiversity. There are many methods of conservation, we've already discussed it in C2, that's the finest, because one of the reasons for the loss of biodiversity is habitat loss. Habitats are destroyed, you see how many houses have come, how many real estate grew, 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 was, uh, was an agricultural area when I was uh, t t testing the new varieties of wheat. Today, Gurugong is all gone. They are all building. Therefore, biodiversity uh, conservation has become important. In situ conservation is largely done by forest departments, biosphere reserves, national parks, protected areas, and so on. And uh, ex situ conservation is done by scientific institutions, ICR, the National Bureau of Animal Genetic Resources, the National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources the number of units. So biodiversity status in India is not satisfied. We were, we were to do much more. But there are many other demands on land. As I said, the major cause of loss of biodiversity is habitat. The habitat is gone. Or we'll take, for example, the coastal biodiversity. Until we intervene, the mangroves are all gone, going away. The mangroves. Now people have to tsunami recognize the value of mangroves. Otherwise, they were going away, largely because there are buildings, there are playgrounds, there are tourist spots along the coast. So the coastal area has been used for other, not only in our country, but in other countries. I've seen the Philippines and so on, in other countries also. So biodiversity, the importance is now well recognized. Uh, efforts are being made. There's a law for conservation. Conservation, sustainable use, and equitable sharing of it. These are the three pillars of the Biodiversity Convention. So, you all, your media can particularly play a very important role in creating consciousness of the need for conservation of biodiversity.